So you get to be the CEO of this company. You're following two legendary figures. How do you go to them and say, by the way, a lot of things you did, I don't want to do anymore. I'm going to change things. I was a consummate insider, right? I'd spent 25 years, 22 years or so when I became CEO. Um, growing up in the company that Bill and Steve built, uh, I understood like the back of my palm all the things we got right and all mm -hmm. the things we got wrong. Um, and I had a point of view on what I wanted to do if I was going to become CEO. We now need to make Microsoft thrive in a mobile first and a cloud first world. It was not about trying to criticize our past or praise the past. Uh, it was about what do we do in the future. One of the things you tried to do and change the culture was to change what was known as a very proprietary culture at uh, Microsoft. Microsoft said, this is the way we do things. We don't want to cooperate with other firms necessarily, competitors or other kinds of firms. How did you change that culture? I said, look, let me not view things as zero sum. If anything, let me approach okay. uh, even who are our traditional competitors and say, well, customers are heterogeneous. They use some of what we do and some of what you do. Let's figure out a way to combine forces where it's market expansive and it satisfies customers. So at least that's how I've approached it. Uh, and it's a okay. lesson I learned in my early days of Microsoft. Historically, Windows and Office were your two cash cows. They are still the biggest source of profit? Yeah, absolutely. So after those two, and you suspect they'll be major source of profit for a long time. Absolutely. But after that, you have other things. You spent $26 billion, the biggest acquisition ever for Microsoft, to buy LinkedIn. What does LinkedIn have to do with Microsoft? If you look at it, we have a billion users of Windows and Office, or Microsoft 365. And what is the common thread there? They're all professionals. Uh, they're all people who are trying to get things done. So we have the professional cloud and the professional devices in the world. And the vision was to combine that with the professional network of LinkedIn. Uh, in fact, if you look at uh, some of the integrations that we have since launched, uh, you can be in Outlook. Uh, you can get an email. I can get an email from David Rubinstein. I can go look up your LinkedIn profile, which I hope you have. Um, I'll get one today, but yes. <laughs> and, and then sort of look up uh, all of the conne mutual connections we may have. So the idea that the professional network and the professional content can be brought together, I think ultimately can okay. be a big driver of productivity. So that is one. But one of the other pieces which has been uh, a real game changer for us is LinkedIn is the uh, way people do business to business sales. And if you want to be able to reach customers and sell, this integration is going to be game changing. Okay. Same thing with talent management. So I think we have lots of synergies between the products that are now coming true.